Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 20th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have touched 30,000 in the trading session today. And uh, this was an absolute horrible day for the cryptocurrency market as a whole. And it's probably not the end. And as you can see, I have the weekly chart here. And uh, a few weeks ago, I talked about the crossing of the MACD in the weekly chart has historically been a catalyst for a massive breakdown in the cryptocurrency market as a whole. We saw it back in 2017. We saw it here in 2019, and now we're seeing it again in 2021. So this is probably not going to be the end. This is probably going to be a few days where we are going to, um, where we're going to probably test the 30,000 level yet again. We're going to trend towards the 30,000, then stabilize. If we manage to stabilize, if we break below here, then we're dropping all the way down to 20,000, and and all the way down to the. 200 moving average down here at the 12,500. So, yes, this market um, has been in a lot of trouble for quite some time. We actually reached the top here. This was in mid-April and has have been falling ever since. And are trading underneath the 200 moving average in the daily chart right at this current stage. If we look at the Fibonacci retracement for this market, we can see that we hit exactly the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement right here at 30,000. If this basically breaks, then we're looking at a massive drop all the way down to 20,000 and lower than that. If you look at technical indicators for the daily chart, we are significantly oversold. We are 25. Technical indicators are slowly turning around and we could see a rally before continuing down, but this is going to be a lot of noise as at this wiped out quite a lot of accounts um, today. So yes, let's look at the Ethereum. Very similar Ethereum here. It's um, it's um, amazing that we saw this rally only a few weeks ago, and now we're seeing this move all the way from 4,321 down to uh, 18,828, um, 18, sorry. And at this current stage, we are underneath the 50 moving average, and we're probably going to trend down towards uh, um, 2,000, probably all the way down to the very bottom here yet again. We are very negative here in the, all the technical indicators. We are approaching also oversold conditions, but uh, it, usually this doesn't just go back to towards the very highs again. Usually it goes down, it stabilizes, and if you break below the 200 moving average, then we're watching out way below because then we're going to test uh, 1000 and then probably much, much lower. So there was some bad news, for example, uh, out of China that um, that restricted um, cryptocurrencies. Uh, there was also tweets by Elon Musk. Uh, but this market has been parabolical for a really, really long time. And this moves to the upside. They cannot continue forever. They will uh, fall apart uh, sooner or later. And... Uh, and that's what we're basically witnessing at this current stage. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano as well, we found uh, support down here at uh, give or take $1. So we uh, went from 2.2 all the way down to, uh, to $1 in roughly roughly a week. And that is absolutely horrible. Technical indicators are still very bearish. There's a lot of room still to the downside. We're trading just above the 50 moving average, but we'll probably go and retest these very lows in the next few trading days. It's very unlikely that we'll just go back to the very highs. It has to stabilize somewhere before going higher if we basically manage to go higher. Break below these previous lows here, opens the door to the 200 moving average at 0 0.74 and to the upside, I don't really see a very good upside at this point as technical indicators are all pointing to lower levels. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin also completely fell apart and it's continuing to fall apart now that the session reopens. So we went from 400 and give or take 8 all the way down to 135. 
rallied up towards uh, 200, give or take, and now we're trading at 189. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for, for this cryptocurrency, but if the 200 moving average holds, then we may stabilize here. We are on the edge of being oversold, so we may see, well, try to see a rally from here because, uh, yes, well, after this massive move, there probably is going to be a little bit of a rally, and that's kind of the same thing for most of these cryptocurrencies that have absolutely been hammered uh, today and the last uh, two weeks. So let's look at NEO. So NEO fell from a high of 139 all the way down to 40. Yes, 40. The 200 moving average is where we found support and uh, we are trading at 55 at this current stage. So yes, this is an absolute horror show and it is the same thing for all the cryptocurrencies, or all of them, the ones that I've been looking at, that you have these massive rallies and today was absolutely... Um, a bloodbath on on the market uh, reason for this main reason don't really know there has been um, some kind of selling occurring and some massive holder of cryptocurrency that has been basically selling today that occurred uh, this occurred of course there has been a lot of bad news but a tweet will not cause this to happen so if you look at technical indicators they are fairly all over the place macd is very bearish the stochastic is still bullish the CCI is bearish and the RSI is bearish indeed. So same thing here, we'll probably the next few days um, trend sideways or trend towards the 200 moving average in order to test it yet again. If that stabilized there, then we could see this go back to the upside. Otherwise, break below the 200, opens the door to 25, 20, and then lower than that. So let's look at Dash. So Dash went uh, from a high of 470 all the way down to 137. So yes, a lot of accounts, a lot of stop losses were wiped out today in this massive move. And it, it, it was really relatively quick. It uh, fell within a few seconds from uh, roughly 50% for most cryptocurrencies. So taking indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is flat, the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is also flat at this point, trading just above the 200 moving average. If we stabilize here, then there's probably a, uh, some uh, probability that will increase higher. Otherwise, break below the 200, then we will open the door to 100. So let's look at Dogecoin. Or Dogecoin. So... Strangely enough, this was probably one of the more resilient uh, cryptocurrency out there. We It did fall 50% at one point. Uh, we went from the high zero for 0 0.47 all the way down to 0 0.21 and then we rallied above the 50 moving average. So 50 moving average is still holding, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if it broke and we tested these lows yet again. If that occurs and, and these previous lows break, then we could also drop to the 200 moving average down here. So technical indicators are looking dreadful. There's still a lot of room to the downside. Um, and yes, to the upside, uh, 20 exponential, if we rally, we'll probably run into massive resistance around 0 0.43. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see the newest videos, and good luck and thank you very much.